Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and today taking a look at just some Town Hall 9 attacks. <clears throat> I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do for a video. I wanted to put one out today, and I think it's you know just a good opportunity to take a step back, take a look at two different types of attacks at Town Hall 9 that are working, um, because it's been a lot of Town Hall 10, a lot of heavy hitter, high level action with all the live attacks I've been doing recently. But let's just take a look at some specific Town Hall 9 attacks. And uh, we're going to start here with this one by Ali, which is going to be a Laloon. This is a two golem, so a shattered Laloon with a uh, hero bowler kill squad. Great job funneling here, then just jumps everything on in, <clears throat> getting both expo compartments getting the queen, he will poison the CC. I believe there's balloons. Yeah, there's a bunch of balloons in the CC, which is a really fun uh, CC to go against because you just poison it and those balloons start dropping one by one, which is really funny to watch. Um, but anyway, the golem's doing a good job tanking, getting great value from this kill squad, um, and then just comes in with the Laloon around the rest of the base. So uh, good base identification, seeing what's going to work here. And uh, you can see it doesn't even matter that there are a few air defenses left up because he has the Lava Hounds and he's taken out enough of the inside of the base that it's a clear shot, a clear runway for his balloon straight across the base. Easy stuff. And uh, right here there is like a little bit of a Tesla farm um, that kind of pops up at the end. But um, he's able to fight through it with the last Lava Hound still being up a little bit and having one more haste left to deploy. So great stuff here. We'll go ahead and uh, I guess we'll go times two. Drops the haste and the balloons uh, make their way through and get the job done. So awesome attack there to Ali. Um, yeah, let's take a look at one more Laloon and a few witch attacks. Um, Witches looking good at Town Hall 9. I'm not a huge fan of them, but some people like using them. I really haven't been able to play on Town Hall 9 accounts because my Town Hall 9 account actually is um, about Town Hall 8 level. It's like an 8 point one i would call it not even 8.5 uh very low level queen all that stuff so i'm not that experienced in town hall 9 but i i watch a lot of attacks you know all the time of course uh doing what i do so um the witches are something i have seen uh be something that works and i'm I still have trouble um, kind of seeing what makes the witch attack successful versus um, not successful, but I'll do my best to talk through it. Um, it's a little bit easier to look at these La Luna attacks or the hog attacks and kind of break them down to a science because they're a little more, um, they, I don't know, the strategy involves a little more obvious, whereas with the witches, it's hard to tell what's luck and what's not. And I guess all Town Hall 9 attacks have a little bit of an element uh, of luck to them, just because there's a big room for error, uh, with Town Hall 9 being um, easier, of course, than Town Hall 10 or really any other Town Hall level on the top level. So next one here, uh, Tornado Top Notch. This is a Queen Walk Laloon, which is a cool uh, t type of attack to see. Starts off with the queen walk, just takes out that first compartment there. The expo actually gets on the healers right here, but they get out of range. Um, just letting that queen make her way uh, around the base. And sometimes you guys will see there's this trash um, around the outside. It's like two layers or even three layers thick. And right here, there's a Tesla farm in here, which allows them to get some great value. But it just depends on how you want your queen to... To progress through her walk if you're okay with spending the rages drop some wizards minions or archers whatever you need to take out those uh outer layers and keep your queen from wandering way out um, away from the defenses but if you want her to have a chance to kind of catch her breath get healed back up sometimes leaving all that outer trash is a good idea because she'll drift away from defenses as she did in this walk and uh, it'll give her a chance to get healed back up while you send the rest of your troops in you can see he sent in um all those troops the balloons, the lava hounds, then has this nice poison skelly combo to take out the queen. So it worked out really nicely there and uh, good timing, not too early on the um, skelly spell because for a while there was a bomb tower left up right next to the queen, which you got to be careful about. So fast forward, that lava hound's about to explode, but it won't do much and uh, he'll get the three star. Good stuff to top notch. All right, two witch attacks, like I said for you guys. Um, just going down one to 16, we have, I think both of these might be king, I'm not sure. Um, let's see how these ones uh, work. 
uh, where do you drop those witches top um, basically coming in with the healers on the witches which actually and somewhat surprisingly is something that I think is more popular at Town Hall 9 using those healers on the witches sometimes people do it at Town Hall 10 but not really um, I guess the Town Hall 9 defenses aren't quite as um, tough on witches and the healers can keep them up even if there's only a few of them so the the witches actually engage the queen right there and they get her taken out so the healers definitely help because the bomb tower at the top of the screen is on them uh, but the healers are doing a good job keeping them up you can see he's coming at these wizard towers with his kill squad that's how you want to do it i guess one major thing to look for in terms of base identification when you're doing this strategy is try to find where all the splash damage is if it's clumped up and send your kill squad at it your heroes your golem your bowlers get it taken out with that and then let your witches go around the outside take out that point defense because that's what they do best against that point defense they can take some splash damage with the healers but in general it's a good idea to avoid that because once the skeletons start dying the the point defense can be pretty brutal on a witch even with a healer or two helping it out so got great value for his kill squad they're pushing all the way back towards these teslas at the end and uh, I think the healers actually got some good value. I'm always a, uh, a little bit skeptical of dropping the healers on the witches in some attacks, but um, I think in this case, he got his money's worth. You always gotta be careful, make sure those healers do target your witches, otherwise you can basically waste 14 or more troop space. But the, uh, the, yeah, the healers were on those witches the entire time, and you can see he has quite a few witches left up to show for it. So really good stuff, nice technical attack. Um, go ahead and go times two to the end here. Let's take a look um, at one more, and then we'll wrap this thing up. Bit of a quick video. Um, I'm just busy lately, um, and I say that all the time, but busy with graduation stuff, so it'll uh, blow by, and then I'll have um, some more time. But uh, actually, I spent a ton of time on that last CWL premiere video, and I think I'm going to continue to try to put out some more content for CWL uh, in the near future. But this next one, also by King, another good example of how to use these witches here. You can see, again, the two healers on a group of, I think, four witches on each side. Actually, more than four. Um, he has like five, even, is that six? At least five on each side. So definitely coming at the base strong from the sides. And then, uh, once again, up the gut, sending the bowlers, sending the heroes. Right here, the two, uh, actually the healers and the witches on the on the left side of the screen peel off and start uh, going into the base which i guess is fine um that side wasn't quite as strong anyway so no need to have something going around the outside but the uh the good the good thing is the main force is actually uh going around to take out the queen those skellies will run up and take her out that second jump great placement the king is just getting in there getting more stuff taken out it's a uh, great timing because you want your witches and stuff that's going along the outside of the base to coincide with your kill squad as it moves through the base you don't want one going too far ahead of the other and <clears throat> you can see that the witches um, are right in line with the heroes making their way through the base so good stuff right there just popped the queen's ability hasn't even used the king's ability yet so got great value and at the end here somehow some way has all those witches left up so the healers i think are pretty effective if used correctly and they were in this case so good stuff to king with both those uh, attacks a six star war for him and i guess that'll wrap it up uh yeah like i said bit of a quick video wanted to get this one out there for you guys um so you have something to watch and should have some more uh content coming out this weekend fysb it's going to be a little bit of an interesting war we had a problem it was our fault uh with the matching so we're going to have to leave one base untouched on each side to balance things out um, so it's going to be a bit of a different war, a little bit more low scoring, I guess, because one base is no longer in play to be attacked. Um, but besides that, it should be fun, and uh, you guys will see some coverage of it. That being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Bisectatron out.